Young Achievers Award aims to honor the young national and global leaders, change makers, visionaries, and achievers who have dared to dream and have made noticeable contribution to societies at an early age. The award also aims at encouraging many more young people who demonstrate the potential to become an influential leader and role model in the future to take further innovative and constructive initiatives to better shape of our present and future. The award is offered to four young achievers under the age of 40 every month, thus acknowledging the works of 52 young leaders every year. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. A right Honorable former Prime Minister Lukanda Vaz Chamji, and we are very uh, glad that you could make it despite your busy time and his distance from here. Honorable uh, Chitrarekha Ma'am, uh, always been a great inspiration for the women leaders in the country and abroad. Uh, very happy to have you here and uh, several uh, CA members, uh, honorable members, uh, representatives from the government, His Excellences and representatives from various embassies and United Nations and uh, dignitaries from the field of business, uh, media, uh, educational institutes, um, in various fields. Um, we are very honored uh, with your presence today here. Uh, this day holds uh, big importance to today's Asia, my team and I, because uh, this is the first time that uh, we have received a delegation of a very high level in this troubled times in Nepal and uh, uh, the trust that uh, the American Council of Young Political Leaders uh, this is Washington DC based and supported by the State Department and other independent donors and funders. The trust that, uh, that so they showed upon us was quite amazing and we feel the eight years of hard work, uh, honesty, dedication, uh, despite thousands of rumors in the market, we're still clean and honest and uh, we survived with our own hard work. Um, and it's a great recognition of that. Uh, it's not easy to for any one of us here to work in a troubled country and uh, where there is so much of insecurity, not just for civilians, even for the police forces and the high levels, and uh, even they feel insecure in our own country. So it's it's quite uh, quite a day for us. And uh, the the good thing is we have done it, we have made it, and uh, it's okay to celebrate success sometimes. And that's what we're doing this evening. May I request uh, for the next award, Mr. Aaron Lawler. Aaron is the board member of Lake County Board, Illinois, and in affiliation to the Republican Party. Aaron currently serves as a board member of Lake County, Illinois. He is the vice chair of the Planning, Building, and Zoning Committee, and a member of the Law and Judicial Committee. Aaron is also a board member of the Lake County Forest Reserve, serving as the vice chair for the Planning and Restoration Committee. He was the political director of the U.S. Congressman Mark Kerrigs in 2010 United States Senate before his election to the Lake County Board, Arun was a member of the Cook Memorial Public Library District Board of Trustees. He also served as Congressman Mark Kitch's Deputy Direct, uh, District Director as well as Political Director for Congressman's re-election campaigns. Arun received a Bachelor's of Arts in Political Science and Communication from Lake Forest College. Uh, but I'm thoughtful of all of the different perspectives that are in this room, all of the political parties, all different, um, all uh, representing a different viewpoint, sometimes disagreeing, uh, but all with their hearts in the right place. And I'm reminded of one of the meetings we took and one of the, something one of the leaders said. He said, do you think Nepal's children know the principles of the Maoists or the UML or the Nepali Congress or the CPN? No. They know the hunger in their stomach. But there is a different type of hunger that is sweeping this country. It's a hunger for change that's manifested here at Today's Youth Asia more than anything else. We come from different backgrounds from around the country in the United States. And all too often we see apathy amongst young people in government. And so it is so wonderful to come here and see all of the young people um, involved in forcing a seat at the table in growing their power, in talking in one voice, whether they're a member of different parties or not. Um, in the States, we have a saying that if you uh, don't have a seat at the table, you're on the menu. 
And that, <laughs> it, that's an important thing, because if you do not have that voice, if you don't have that perspective, your agenda can get eaten up. So I want to thank uh, today's Youth Asia for this award, but really it belongs in the hands of all the people who have brought us here, everything they've done for us, from briefings to helping us walk, walk the streets, telling us what, what different uh, gods are and what different things are, um, and giving us an experience that goes beyond the government, um, but to the culture and to the students and, and all of the things that we've done. So thank you very much. I have been receiving handfuls of award before, but uh, uh, I'm on the other side uh, today. Uh, never experienced uh, before uh, giving an award, so uh, I'm really honored and privileged uh, for uh, uh, this opportunity uh, to hand an award uh, to this, uh, you know, excellent uh, team of uh, younger political leaders from the United States of America. Um, my congratulations to, to all of you. Uh, and thank you so much, Aaron, for receiving this award uh, from my hand. Um, you know, uh, I heard that uh, you have learned so much from your uh, visit to Nepal. Um, and I did the uh, same when I have visited your country uh, several times in, in the past. It's uh, very inclusive, uh, the largest democracy in the world. Uh, you have achieved so much uh, and the world can learn from you and uh, you know, inspired from you what you have achieved uh, so far and continue achieving and making progress and keep inspiring the world. Uh, so it's a real uh, honor and privilege for us to uh, have you in Nepal, welcome uh, you in Nepal and uh, uh, thank you for sharing uh, your time meeting our uh, leaders, uh, students, uh, uh, many people from different worlds, uh, and listening us and also sharing your experiences. Um, I think uh, young leaders uh, and young people in general should take the lead to uh, make uh, economic uh, progress, uh, the spiritual uh, progress, the social harmony and peace in, uh, in, in Nepal and all over the world. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a difficult time that we're facing, but it's also a, a great opportunity that, uh, uh, that we, ha we are having, that we can really lead for a, a prosperous, peaceful uh, nation and can, in can inspire. Um, 20, 2,500 years ago, I think uh, Nepal was probably in a similar situation, a lot of conflicts, uh, caste-based discrimination, poverty, and all these things. But at that time, uh, a great world leader appeared and uh, you know, taught his wisdom uh, how to uh, live peacefully together in harmony and also uh, uh, spread the uh, word of wisdom for, for true uh, liberty, for true uh, salvation, for true nirvana, and that was Buddha. I think we made a full circle now, and we are in a similar conflict, similar uh, situation now, and we are, uh, I think we, we are, uh, we, this world needs um, uh, many Buddhas. And uh, so the uh, young leaders uh, you know, from Nepal, from the United States, from, from many places can learn a lot from, from, from that man, from that great leader and continue, uh, uh, you know, uh, continue uh, working for peace, for, for prosperity, for inclusive, uh, harmonious world. And uh, I'd like to thank uh, today's Youth Asia for preparing younger generation uh, for uh, to achieve that uh, you know peaceful world, uh, a prosperous world where everyone has uh, uh, equal opportunity to exercise uh, and to achieve their full potential. So thank you very much, Shantosa and your team. Thank you very much.